Hello again. In the previous video, we we studied present ideas, right? Ideas in the present tense expressing the future. So we have two verb tenses which uh, are uh, mainly expressing future ideas. The verb will, right? Will do something and I'm going to do something. So there are two verb tenses. And now uh, we will study the present tense verbs, either the present tense or the present continuous expressing an idea that goes to the future. Okay, so let's see more of these contexts right here. Um, so, you see, it's not very difficult. As a matter of fact, it's pretty easy to understand why we use the present in the future context. Uh, let's, let's suppose you are doing something, okay? That was an action, for example, I'm exhausted today. I'm exhausted, right? I worked a whole day during the day I had no time to do anything else and I'm, I'm pretty exhausted. So, I, what can you say, uh, you are doing something in the future, so I'm going to bed. I'm exhausted, I'm going to bed. So, you have an action or you, a situation, not an action, you have a situation expressed here that you are exhausted. So what will you do? Or so what are you doing then? So you use an idea. Uh, you use the present continuous tense. Here. Uh, don't mix up going to and the object with going to do, right? They are different expressions. If you say, I'm going to study, this is the expression to be going to, right? It has a verb to be, the verb go, going to, the expression, and the main verb in the infinitive form. It's different here. Here we don't have this verb tense. We have the present continuous. It's I, the verb to be, and the main verb with ing. Bad is not a verb, okay? Bad is the object, right, of the... So, where are you going, right? As a matter of fact, is an adverb of uh, place. You, see, you can say, I'm going to the bedroom, I'm going to bed, I'm going to a party. So, it's a situation that expresses an idea in the future, but it's the present continuous. Here, it's not the present continuous. So, pay attention to the differences we have here. Um, if you say, for example, what time does the TV, uh, what time does the news program start? You want to watch the news and you don't know at what time it starts. So, it's an idea in the future and I'm using the present tense. What time does the news program start, right? Uh, so, what do I mean here? When you want to talk about timetables, time of something that is happening. For example, what time does the bus uh, get here? I want to know the timetable of the bus, of the plane, right? You go to the airport to take a trip to somewhere. 
and you want to ask a question, it's possible to ask a question in the present. Okay, you, you can use the, the present. Uh, I have, um, for example, my plane leaves at midnight, okay? You bought a ticket, a flying ticket, and you know that your plane leaves at midnight. I need to be at the airport and two hours before because you know that the traffic is going to be heavy right there will be much uh, maybe you have a traffic jam so you have to be prepared to be there before not necessarily two hours before i'm just giving an example so i see my plane leaves so this refers to a timetable i know that the plane leaves at midnight because i bought the ticket for midnight so i have to be prepared right and i need to be there two hours before so you can use the uh, the present tense uh, to express an idea in the future Either can be transportation time, right, about the bus. Ah, oh, my bus leaves, my bus uh, arrives. My, uh, the bus arrives at, at the city at noon, at midday, right? The, the bus arrives at the city at noon. So, I know already at what time, or at least the timetable for the bus, I know that it's planned to arrive at noon. I, yes, it, it, maybe you get some delays, but I expect the bus to be there at noon, okay? All right, uh, so this is a timetable, right, situation, but you can use... And the present tense, or the simple present, if you have a routine, right? You have a routine like a timetable. You do something on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, right? Um, I, uh, let me see. I start my English. course on Monday. This is the verb tense in the present, but it expresses an idea in the future or it refers to a timetable situation, right? You know that you have <clears throat> English courses from Monday to, to, to Friday, for example. So you know that you will restart your English course on Monday. The continuous tense, on the other hand, is used when you have something personal planned, okay? <clears throat> what time are you meeting your friends? tonight. What time are you meeting your friends tonight? So this is a personal arrangement and you use the present continuous to express this idea. All right? So it's personal. So let's see the difference between the present simple and the present continuous. For example, what time does the bus uh, leave? I want to know at what time the bus leaves, okay? This is not personal. It's not personal 
it refers to a timetable situation and it's a fixed schedule of the bus, of the public transportation in general. But when you want to refer to a situation that affects you personally or that you are involved in this situation, for example, I'm leaving to the airport at 10 p.m. So, I'm leaving to the airport at 10 p.m. As it's personal, I use the present continue. continuous, right? I don't, uh, I, I can't use it here, I leave it to the airport. No, it's personal situation. This is a fixed timetable or timetable for the public transportation, for the, an event to start that, you know, this is a planned situation here. But here, on the other hand, it's personal. I'm going to the party tonight. So, I can ask a question. Where are you going tonight? So, both sentences are in the present continuous because you have here the verb to be the verb going which is the main verb of the sentence and the adverb expression of place and time i know i'm going where are you going i'm going to the party when are you going to the party i'm going to the party tonight where are you going tonight so, both situations are personal arrangements, something that you have planned to do. So, you use the present continuous here instead of the simple present. Alright, people, so that covers, that summarizes everything. Thanks for watching and until the next video. Bye-bye.